Hi, I'm Michelle with Colorado Model Railroad Museum and STEAM Kids Virtual Classroom. And we are out on our expedition adventure to Pooter Learning Center. Uh, we're learning about geology this month and I'm here with Brett from the Pooter Learning Center. <laughs> Last week, we were with Amy and she taught us about the river. And she taught you to be a river detective and how to look at the way the water flows and where things deposit and where things move fast. Where is sediment and where is it moved on? It was really interesting and she ended right here in what you guys call the PLC Canyon, right? That came from the flood in 2013. And so today we're gonna to learn more about sediments and deposits and even maybe some fossils in there. I think it's gonna be really exciting. So Ambrett, I'm really excited to learn from you today. Thanks for letting us come out and be here at the Pooter Learning Center. Michelle, thank you so much for coming out to the Learning Center. Welcome again to the canyon. I want to start here and I want you to notice the layering of the sedimentary rock that the river allowed us to see behind me. I want you to remember the layers of how things are exposed that we can see the oldest sediments at the bottom and the newest sediments that are left on the top. Notice any colors or texture changes if you look closely. So we have just walked from the canyon where the cottonwood trees are and that's where the biosphere, the cottonwood trees and plants, show us where the water is and different sediments where different plants like to grow. As we're walking further away from the river, you can notice the different plants as they change into the prairie and grasses. And I wonder if there's different sediments and rocks here than at the river. As I walk, we're going to end up more in the prairie by the NSTEM station at the Pooter Learning Center. And we're gonna do an activity that looks at these different sediment sizes and layers. So welcome to the prairie. Here we're going to talk about the sediment that would be formed under our feet and what we might find. The sedimentary rocks are also where we can find fossils and we're going to talk about an activity that will be in your kit. I wonder what the story that the rocks can tell us from this area. I know that there's sandstone and different sediments that have been formed. One example is this sandstone that has some fossils in it here. Further up in the mountains, we would see a conglomerate and you can see the different larger pieces that have formed in this example. When the pieces of sediments are smaller, they're going to form clay formations with these fine particles. Do you notice the different colors and textures that are created? Here is an example of some layering and bedding that were formed as the sediments compacted and pressed down. That reminds me of the layers that we saw at the canyon. The story of what sedimentary rocks can tell us is that the bottom are the oldest layers and as the top, it, for example, the river would layer the sediments over the years. Over a longer period of time, we might see something different. In your kit, we put an activity of layering of sediments and fossils in a cup. You can take your cup, tear it, and I want you to know this is the different colors of the sediments that are layered. Take your time to think about how could have this formed? 
on the top, you might notice some prints that look like an animal has stopped and walked on the top. What you're going to do with your fossil kit is investigate what you can find in the different layers. On the top layer, this what can also be called the topsoil, I can start to gently, like a paleontologist, take away those layers. If you have an old brush, oh, that came off, I can brush away the sand sediments and try and find a fossil that's left there. This may take some time as you go gently with your fingers and explore what you can find. <gasps> Here, I found an actual fossil. Do you know what this looks like? Does it remind you of anything? If I look here at our fossils of our prehistoric past, I believe this shape is a shark's tooth. Isn't that amazing? Here at the Pooter Learning Center, we have found actual shark's teeth in this area. And if you notice the bluffs behind us, there's a ski hill that was called shark's tooth. That's because actual shark's teeth have been found here. So what can that tell me about the past? I know at one time there was a shallow ocean and different habitat because we found evidence of past sea life. In your kit, you can look through layers and find a historic past like a paleontologist. So I found the shark's tooth in my fossil kit. This is an example of a true form fossil. This is a picture of an insect stuck in amber. So that is the actual element that was caught to tell the story of the past. Another type of fossil, we have a mold fossil or a cast fossil. The mold is the negative imprint similar to what this left by a leaf was imprinted in the sediment rock. The actual fossil could have deteriorated away, leaving a mold, kind of like an ice tray. To cast that mold would be similar to how water forms the ice in an ice tray. The cast would be left showing what the actual item looked like. Another type of fossil is a trace fossil. On our kit, I talked about trace fossils that animals could leave. Here's an example of a trace fossil that looks like a creature left on the ocean floor. Ambred, thank you for showing us all of this. I loved learning about the sedimentary layers, how you went from seeing fossils at the top levels down to the different kinds of fossils we see when things break down further. That was great. And kids, I think you're gonna love this activity. Um, do you think there might be multiple little fossils in there? I think there might be a few surprises <laughs> in your layers of your sedimentary rock. And what you learned today is that it's a true form fossil when you get your little shark's tooth out of there and you get to keep these. Now you get to have a fossil for yourself. I really loved learning about the biospheres, sediments, our world around us, 
Uh, Twitter Learning Center is an amazing place. Thanks for having us come out here and learn from you. Thank you so much for coming. Get outside, experiment, explore, look closely, see what you can find. What do you love to look at outdoors? Thank you. Bye.